firefighter Penny Morris has just moved into a new cottage. It needs doing up. The garden certainly needs a trim. No chance of getting the weeds under control this week. <coughs> Hop in, lovely girl. Ponty Pandy, Trevor. And don't spare the horses. Oh, late, are you? I want to be early today because it's Sam's first day of holiday. That fire station will be like a bus without a driver. It'll take a big man to fill Sam's wellies. And I'm covering for him. Oh, yes, 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 quite. Uh, how's the garden coming along, Penny? Tell you what. I got some gorgeous bedding plants down the allotment. They'll fill your borders a tree. There's a lot of rubbish on the box these days. Mind you, I do like the odd documentary programme myself. Did you see Scoop Whales last night, then? It's about sinking houses. It's not news to me, of course. I've always known that this town was built on a rabbit warren of old mining tunnels. Oh, the bunny rabbits go down the mines? No, you silly woman. That's just a way of talking. All I'm seeing is that the earth beneath our feet isn't half as solid as we think it is. Any second, the ground could swallow you up. Fireman Sam's not used to taking holidays. He's bored already. How about a game of rounders? Well, come on, Uncle Sam. I don't think so, kids. Well, we could play British Bulldogs. Don't you think that's a bit rough? Sorry, you two. I'm just not in the mood. Well, what about hide and seek? I think I'll just give the fire station a call. See how things are going. Mmm. Rather a fine aroma of traditional breakfast fare, firefighter Morris. You can tuck into this all week while I'm staying at the station, sir. Ah, excellent. Breakfast as in the years B.C. Before Cridlington. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, mo morning, Cridlington. <coughs> Ponty Bandy Fire Station. Oh, hello, Sam. Sunning yourself on the Costa del Porth call? No. No, not quite. I'm in the phone box outside Dillis's shop. I, I was wondering how things were going. We're all fine here. Everything in the garden's lovely then, is it? You don't need uh, anything doing? Well, if you're desperate for something to do... You could always weed my garden. Oh, no problem. I'll be there in two ticks. I've had enough of taking it easy to last me a year. Yes, it doesn't take too long to make an impression on a cottage garden, even if it's a jungle. Ah. Whew. Well, it's as hot as a jungle. Well, that's funny. They didn't forecast thunder for today. How many flowers can Penny Morris grow? In a ponty country garden. Roses, delphiniums, perhaps a duff or two, and a... Uh, Mr. Evans! I beg your pardon. Why do you need so many plants, Mr. Evans? Well, thing is, my sugar ups, by the time Sam has lifted all the weeds, there'll be nothing left. So we got to give the girls some flowers and shrubs to look at. Now then, my sugar lumps, Kew Gardens will have nothing on pennies by the end of this afternoon. She'd have to open it to the public. There'd be a queue to get in. Oh, 
James! Mr. Evans! Your coffee. <coughs> oh, my giddy aunt. Uncle, Uncle Sam. Sam! No. Don't you worry, you two. You go back and wait for me in Trevor's bus. Okay, Uncle Sam. I think I could pull you out, Sam. No, Trevor. The ground isn't safe. This is a job for the fire brigade. Use pennies full. Straight away, Sam. Aye. Hurry, Trev. Now who needs the fire service? Good grief. It's Fireman Sam. He's in trouble. <laughs> Present and correct, sir. Right. Let's go. You can't drown in soil, can you? Don't say things like that. Here they come. Get to work, men. Fireman Crittington, prepare our rescue line. Hurry, Penny. Oh, what on earth's happened to the garden? Oh, Sam. Better use the ejection pipe, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, you're quite right. Uh, Firefighter Morris, prepare ejection pipe. Sorry about all this, sir. Here, here we are, Sam. Cut shoulder the rope. Right. Got it. Ejection pipe at the ready, sir. Proceed as quickly as you can. No time to shore up the sides. There could be another shift at any moment. Solid ground, I'm glad to say. You're safe now. Congratulations, Firefighter Morris. An excellent job. Oh, thanks, Penny. Glad to be going home, my lovely. Well, yes and no. The council says the house is safe. They filled in the hole, but the garden must be a wreck. Let me come and have a look. Now, perhaps I can give you a tip or two. Oh, yes, perhaps you can. It's absolutely... absolutely beautiful. Hey, you can keep your Costa del Sol. It's Costa del Ponte for me every time. Welcome, Welcome home, home, Penny. Penny.
lasagna has started a new pizza business. What's this then, Bella? Picked up some bankrupt stock, have we? No, these are the boxes for the pizzas. These are the new job for Trevori and me. I make the pizza and Trevori, he deliver. Good idea, see? Well, Bella, it would be, I suppose. But how can you tell Trevor the bus where to go? He's on the road all the time. Love him. He's a easy. I give him a ring on this mobile phone. Oh, let me have a look. Oh. Seven, four, seven. Well, nobody in Punty Pandy's gonna phone for a pizza, are they? Oh, hello? Oh, uh, Bella's pizza? Hello? Hello? What's a good start? This phone's not working. Told you. Okay, Pandy. So, you want the tomatoes and the mozzarella and the mushrooms? Hello, Dill. Uh, come to collect the mobile phone, Bella. Trevori will be with you in half an hour. Okay? Ciao. <laughs> Pizza. Aye, hands off. That's for Penny. Anyway, we're here now. This is the best blackberry spot for miles. My sugar lumps. Well, I took a bit of stop in there, didn't you, lovely boss? Thanks, Mr. Evans. Hey, look at those berries. And kids, no going near the old quarry, right? Too right. Don't worry, Mr. Evans. We won't. Oh. Hello? Bella? Oh, it's me, Gillis. Well, now, how did you get this number? Never you mind, Trevor. But now that I have, I thought I'd ask you to pick up one or two little items up for me in Newtown. Well, Dill, I, I would, but... Oh, thanks, Trevor. You're a real gentleman, and there aren't many of those left, I can tell you. Now then, I've ordered name tapes for Norman in Bingles, and while you're there, get a rugby shirt and socks in Cardiff colours, will you? No, but Dill, I... I can't stop and chat, Trevor, much as I'd love to. Chat half an hour. Chat half an hour? cheek. Well, Sam, if you fancy a change from sausages, how about a uh, toad in the hole? Thing is, Elvis, I'd like a real change. Well, I, I, I could do you a smashing Welsh rarebit. In fact, I, I'm going to try one of Bella's pizzas delivered to the door. Fireman Criddington, uh, do you have Mrs. Lasagna's pizza menu? I, I fancy a change today. Well, so do I, sir. I fancy a change of job. I'm off. <laughs> Yummy. Hey, shush. What's that noise? Maybe there's an animal trapped in the brambles. Ah, <whistles> oh, it's a blackbird. Oh, poor little thing. <whistles> Don't worry. I'll get you out of there in no time. Oh, oh. Sarah! Oh. James? Where are you? I'm down here! James! Get me off this ledge! I'll go and phone for help! Goodness gracious me! If I could stop, I'd check the brakes! Oh. oh! My foot was nearly through the floor. Let's have a look at the brake fluid level. Pizza, they want. Pizza, they'll get. I'll show them. Now then, what does it say about spinning the dough on your fingers? Oh. Welcome back, Elvis. Hey, what? Watch this! I I got the hang of it now. See? Oh, oh, drat! Now, who needs the fire service? Boy trapped on quarry ledge near Pandy Lane Farm. All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. 
This brake fluid's not so easy to check. Oh. Oh, no. My finger's stuck. Blow me neck. Hello. Oh, that's Sam. He'll help me. Hello, Sam. Sam! I've never seen Trevor so happy to see me. Sam! Well, thanks a lot. Charming. Over here. Get to work, men. Prepare rescue slings. It's all right, James. Uncle Sam's arrived. Won't be long now. Now, oh, James, I'm coming down to get you. OK, Uncle Sam. Lower away, Fireman Sam. Very good, sir. Right. Here we go. Are you hurt, James? No, Uncle Sam. Well, there's a good lad for not panicking. Now, we'll be safe as houses and on the quarry floor in two ticks. OK, James. Now, just relax now. I'll try. Oh! You're doing very well. Just a few more metres. Ah, here we are. They've done it, Mr Steele. They've done it. There you are. That wasn't too bad, was it? Now, look. I want you to stay clear of old quarries. They're dangerous, see? Oh, I've been here so long, I can't even feel my arm, let alone the brake fluid. Bella, this pizza business is a non-starter. Hello? Bella? Hello? Bella? Can you hear me on that mobility phone of yours? Oh, I could have phoned all the time. Well, well, silly me. Nine, nine, nine. Which service do you require? Fire service, please. Oh, what? Well, well that's service for you, isn't it? Hello, Sam. Yeah, oh, oh, no. Well, is he short-sighted or what? Sam! Bus driver with finger stuck in brake fluid chamber on the Newtown Road, WP, over. Oh, no. So that's why he was waving to me. Room for one more on top, sir?
Trevor the bus is on his way to Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Hello there, my sugar lumps. I'm just doing some filming in the park, practicing my new job in the service. Do you want to help? Filming? Wow, that's wicked. I have to film real rescues. That way, we can see if we're doing everything properly. Now then, if you want to be in this film, you have to do something. I'll sing a song, and I'll do a dance from our school show. Right then. Cameras roll in, and action. Oh, I'll show them some action. Hey, look at me. Oh. Oh. Well, there's a coincidental. Her name's Dillis, too. Dillis Davis from Newtown found an old heirloom in the attic, and she's a millionaire now. And what's more, She's got a photo in the Ponty Pondy Times. She's rich and famous, she is. Mrs. is a prize. You want to make it? You look in your attic. <coughs> you know, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but that's a very good idea you just had there. Right, men. Today's drill is search and snatch. Our aim is to locate the dummy in a smoke-filled room using a thermal imagery camera, which will also record the exercise. Right, men. Smoke chamber now full. Fireman Sam, you'll be team leader. Very good, sir. Fireman Sam, sir, pressure 180 bar. Correct. Fireman Evans, 200. Correct. Uh, 190. Come on, sir. Uh, wish me luck. I just wait. We could. Mm. Oh, what a wicked half pipe. Cool. Norman? Norman? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Mum. No pinching sweets, all right. You're supposed to be looking after the shop, not eating the profits. I know, Mum. I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, spit on the murky side. Now then, let's have some light on the subject. Oh, my whole life's incapacitated in this room. Norman's Teddy. I remember the day he bit its arm off. Testing his gums, he was. Ah, there it is, Daddy's old sea chest. Hang on to your curlers, Dill. This could be your lucky day. No, what do we got here? A Welsh dolly. <laughs> Mallet. Oh, that's good for nothing but ten pegs, that is. Family heirlooms, indeed. Family airbrushes, more like. Funny. I can smell burning. I haven't got a cake in the oven. No, man. Flaming, Nora! Who did that? No, man! Mm, yes, right. All set. Now, what I'm going to show you is the unedited version of today's exercise, provisionally entitled Flaming Tower. Oh, get on with it, Evans. Oh, oh yes, right, oh, sir. Uh, right. And there we are. You have to do something. I'll sing a song, and I'll do a dance from our school oh. show. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Sir. Look up. Oh! Whee! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Well, where's my training film? I know it's in here somewhere. I wish we could make a video. So do I. Hey, look. There's smoke coming out of Dillis's roof. Come on, James. We've got to call the fire brigade. Now, here we go, sir. This bit is Sam successfully retrieving the dummy. Okay, Elvis, right. Yeah, got 
got him. Oh, jolly good heavens. Ah. Hey, now for the real thing, boys. Fire at Dillis Price's general store. All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. in an attic. <coughs> ah, the skylight. Let's open it. Oh, it's jammed. What can I use to open it? Right, this will do. <coughs> oh. Come on, Norman. I'm not having you on. Oh! Will nobody see me? Oh! Oh, I'm dizzy. Hang on, Bill. Oh. See? We told Mom. you. Mum! Oh, Mum! Priority, rescue Mrs. Price, then extinguish attic fire. Get to work, men. Keep well back, kids. Stand by to slip. We'll get you down in two ticks still. Will you? How? A raise ahead. Fireman Evans, commence filming. Yeah, oh, right, oh, sir. Now, come on, Dill. I want you to slowly make your way along the roof. Keep cool. Oh, yes, you know me. Cool as a... Oh, that's hot. Cucumber. Yes. Right, oh, Sam. Ooh. Come on, Dillis. Show us what you're made of. Oh, yes. I... Pardon? Show... Oh, show you what I'm made of, yes. Oh, oh I'll come down. Oh! How's that? Oh. Oh, afternoon. Oh. Oh, I've landed in heaven. That was delicious. You're an excellent cook. Oh, Trevor. You are a one. Uh, right then. I'll do the dishes. Why don't you watch the news? Norman? I'm not fussy about the news. There was drama it's always in boring. Handy this afternoon as Dillis Price, proprietor of Price's General Store, Oh, my goodness! That's, that's me! Oh, you said you wanted to be famous, so I popped the video into the TV station. You never did! The statue found in her attic was valued at more than £2,000. What? £2,000? I don't believe it! It's true. Station officer Steele checked up. You know, you look good on television, Dillis. Perhaps you should have been a film star. Yes, not too late, you know. When he used the fire bell chime, Fireman Sam is there on time. Someone might be in a jam. So hurry, hurry, Fireman Sam. He's always on the scene. Fireman Sam and his engine's bright and clean. Fireman Sam, you cannot ignore. Sam is the hero next door.
It's a hot summer's afternoon. Almost Mediterranean, you might say. Oh, beautiful, just like at home. Trattoria de Napoli, the best restaurant in Roma. Why is it called Trattoria di Napoli if it's in Rome, Bella? I don't know, but tonight is in a Ponte Pandi too. And this Bella will sing beautiful Italiano song. I like coffee from the coffee pot. I like coffee, sweet or not. Oh, coffee? It's more like toffee, Elvis boy. Oh, look, a postcard from Rimini from Dillis Price. Her and her Norman are there on holiday. Poor Rimini. Now listen to this. Dear all, arrived safe and sound. Having a, having a fabulous, fabulous time. time. Weather, gorgeous. Food, golden blue. Norman, more Italian than the Italians. Ciao, Dennis. Ciao, Norman. Stop that sneezing and enjoy yourself. But, ma'am. You told me the weather's nicer back home. However, Norman, my darling, we are not just here for the weather. We're here to be cultivated. See the old ruins. Try different foods. Not more spaghetti, Mum. <laughs> And the shop will be closed. We must have the gypsy earrings for the cabaret. Hey, <laughs> we'll make it. And I'll be back from fetching Dillis and Norman from Cardiff Airport in plenty of time to play the squeeze box for your folk songs. Hurry, Trevori, please, or Bingles will close for the day. Meow. Rosa? Rosa, what are you doing in my shopping trolley? Oh, yes, just a tiny drop more. Thank you. This is the best service we've had all week. No wonder that holiday was half price, Norman. The hotel was only half built. Oh, it's like talking to a brick wall. Oh, oh, look, Norman. Norman, there's Trevor's bus on its way to meet us. Norman. What, Mum? Quick, it's Mr. Evans, look. Like a fish from the food hall, I know. Oh, oh, Rose, come back. You naughty pussy, where do you go to? Bingles of Cardiff will close in five minutes. Kindly make your way to the exit. Here, pussy. Pussy! Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, ah, bueno. Rosa? Oh, Rosa! How do you find your way in here? We go in the lift. You cannot escape from the lift, Rosa. I'm so happy I found you. You stay with me now. Eh? Oh! Oh, mamma mia! We're stuck between the basement and the ground floor. Oh, Rosa, it's not just you can't escape. It's me as well. Oh, I telephone. Hello? Hello, help! It's an emergency! Uh, this is security services. How can I help you? Thank goodness! Someone will come now. Woman trapped in lift at Bindle's department store. <laughs> All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. There, there. 
Shusha Rosa, you will be okay. Right, man. Get to work. Where are you, madam? Ah, what I tell you, Rosa. They've come to save us. Help! In the mist! Okay. We're here now. It's the fire service. Oh! Is that you, Sam? That sounds like Bella. Yes, Bella. Don't worry. We'll get you out. <sighs> Fireman Cridlington, go to the top of the shaft, winch the lift up manually. Yes, sir. Sir, can you pass me that piece of old shelving? It'll keep these spring-loaded doors open. Of course, Fireman Sam. <sighs> this should do the trick. Ah, excellent. Perfect fit. Commence winching, Fireman Cridlington. Right you are, sir. Ah, he's a working. What's the problem, Elvis? It's bad, son. The cables are jammed. Oh, dear. Uh, <clears throat> maybe we should use the short extension ladder, sir. Ah, uh, yes, good idea, Fireman Sam. Uh, short extension ladder. Fireman Cridlington, rejoin main rescue team. Right away, sir. Uh. Hello there, Bella. Now, this will be very easy. I'll pass the ladder down, then you just climb up. Sam, you must take Rosa first. She's frightened. All right. Come on, Rosa. What an it. Rosa! She will fall. Oh, I will fall. Now, calm down, Bella. You'll both be fine. Oh, now what do we do? Just a minute. I got an idea. Let me help you out, uh, Mrs. Lasagna. Oh, all sorted then. Come to Mama. This is the way to a cat's heart, eh, Bella? Meow! Grazie, grazie, son. Cari amici, I would now like to sing for you all a very special song. Oh, Bella Italia! Fish and chips? You know, like my spaghetti Roma? Bella, your Italy is quite nice for a foreign country, but too much spaghetti makes you choke. Well, mind the bones in the fish. <coughs> Tonight, I am a free. Grazie, Samma, from Rosa and Pia. Stop it, stop it. Very nice, Bella.